I have an assortment of candles here from Homeworks. I have one from Nest. I have a couple of new brands to me, two that I have never tried out before. And I also have a Kringle candle here. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on cold sniff about any of these candles, then you're in for a treat today. I think I'm going to go ahead and start out with the Kringle candle that I ordered. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you. I purchased this one, A, because it is a new release in the new 100% three wick soy formula from Kringle. If you have purchased any of their soy candles before, you know that they are some of the best burns on the market. I absolutely love that formula. However, I do find that the strength and throw on those because the base of the wax pool is not as wide, the strength and throw are maybe a little bit lighter than say like what I get from Homeworks or even from a Bath and Body Works type of candle. Well, they just released the three wicks, which are like the exact same size as like a Bath and Body Works candle. The three wick, what, how many ounces is this one? It says it is 14 ounce. So this is a 14 ounce candle. They just released this in their 100% soy wax formula. So I decided from the new Christmas collection, which one was I going to take the leap of faith on? And I went ahead and purchased Away in a Manger. This is from the, again, like I said, the new Kringle um, Christmas lineup. And I'm going to tell you the reason I purchased this one was when I saw Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. If you're following my channel, you more than likely are probably already subscribed to hers. She said that this candle is kind of um, similar, or maybe it is one of the test products that they sent her. She is currently in development of creating an or orange pomander holiday scent with Kringle Candle. And so they've sent her a few to test out to see a couple of blends to see which one she would like to do as like you know their collaboration and she said this one is the one that didn't she did not choose but she still really loved this one so when she said that i was like okay i'm sold i'm going to pick it up and oh my goodness you guys this is really good now this this is um the freshness of an orange so it's so funny because i personally don't really associate orange with the christmas time like vibe i guess now i know a lot of people do especially if you have a background where your mother was um always had the orange pomander or anything like that if you have like a cultural background with that i don't um the only oranges i remember at christmas time was getting one in my stocking i don't know did any of you guys have that let me know down below but um oh this smells really good but it's not straight up orange this is not like their sicilian orange and it's not even an orange like you would get in the summertime like it's not like homeworks is orange creamsicle where there's a creaminess or anything like that this to my nose just on cold sniff that orange note is very dominant Ooh, but it is so good there is a little bit of spice to it, which would be kind of like that orange pomander vibe. Um, An orange pomander definitely has like clove and um, I'm not sure if there's a little bit of cinnamon. I know different people do that differently, but this smells really good. I actually, oddly enough, think that I might burn this one like right after Christmas because I generally am craving citrusy scents afterwards. If you are new to my channel, first off, hi, I'm Katie. I'm 38 years old and I love to talk about beauty and home fragrance on my channel. So if you're new, hello. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So that way you will be notified whenever I upload new content. But going back to, if you're new here, I reside in Arizona, so we have very mild winters. Um, typically in January, I sometimes want the windows open because sometimes in January we have 72 degree weather. And so then when that type of weather hits, I like to have citrus on hand. And so this one I think will be perfect to burn right after Christmas. Now, one of the things that I deeply respect about Kringle here is that they the label on here is actually an ode to, um, for me, uh, what Christmas is actually all about, which is uh, they have an ode to the nativity scene here. And I think that that's, um, I say that, that that's a nice touch here because I think a lot of companies these days tend to shy away from any kind of religious symbolism. And um, kudos to you, Kringle, for actually 
acknowledging that as a part of Christmas. I know that in my household, that is actually the main focus of Christmas. So I was really happy to see that. And that may have also, like, I don't wanna say it tied into my decision, but it made the decision to purchase this candle a lot easier knowing that it was the candle that was a tester for Melanie and then also just the label I, really appealed to me. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. I would, I would recommend that one. Now I will do a review to let you know how the, um, the burn is on this because it is the new formulation in this size jar. So I guess I won't be burning this after Christmas. I should probably start burning it now so that way I can get a review done for you guys. Let me know, are you guys interested in knowing how these perform? let me know in the comment, comment box down below and I will do that for you. The next candle that I picked up is a new to me brand. I have never purchased anything from this brand before, but Josh over at Touch the Fire Twice has reviewed a couple of these candles. And so he put this brand on the map for me. This is Lafco, New York. I picked up the scent White Maple Bourbon. Now these are pricey candles, but this box, first off, let's talk about the outer packaging. This would be beautiful for like a gift. Um, very giftable, very pretty. This scent of White Maple Bourbon, this is not a holiday scent. There's something about this. There's definitely that bourbon note, but it's not overly boozy. The sweetness of maple, but again, not too cloying. It's almost, it's clean, but almost masculine, like traditionally masculine. I really like this scent. Now I picked this up this weekend while I was in Scottsdale. I went for a girl's trip and we went into the Blue Mercury over at Kierland Commons. If you live in Arizona you and you've been there, you know where I'm talking about. Um, and I walked in and I was just, I saw this brand and I thought, oh, Josh has talked about these. So I wanted to smell a couple of them. There's another scent that I really liked. I think it was called Fireside Oak, but I already have a couple of like fire type of scents in my collection. So I couldn't justify purchasing that at this time. So I went ahead and I smelled this one and I didn't purchase it right away, but I kept thinking about it. And since we were staying there overnight, the next day I was like, girls, I gotta go back and get that candle. It smells really good. So this size candle is, let me see, this is the smaller one. This is six and a half ounces. The jar is very sturdy. It's very pretty. My light might be reflecting off of that a little bit. It's a single wick candle right here. Ooh, but I am really excited to, to burn this. It almost reminds me of like, I don't mean this in a bad way, but kind of like memories of going to like my grandparents' house, kind of that like, I think of like Mad Men or something like that type of era. Like this is a very kind of masculine scent, not tobacco, but Oh, I just really, really like this one. So I'm very curious to see how this burns. This was a pricey candle in my opinion, um, but here I am trying something out, you know, because I do a lot of Homeworks reviews here and Kringle, um, I don't really purchase a lot of Bath and Body Works, but I am trying to branch out and I'm actually always interested in trying new candles. So I went ahead and purchased this one and I will let you guys know, I'll keep you updated maybe in like, Maybe I'll do like a roundup at the end of the month or um, at some point when I've tried out a bunch of these new ones, I'll let you guys know how they're working for me. Another candle brand that is new to me is this, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Is it correctly? Is it Voluspa or Voluspa? Um, this is the Baltic Amber. Now this is one of their smaller jars. I believe this is 3.2 ounces. The jar is beautiful. I have to say that I love this jar. The scent is Baltic Amber. This is a very nice, clean, I would say this is a very giftable scent. I don't find this scent to be offensive. It's warm without being overly holiday, overly tree note. There's no, it's not a tree note at all in this. It's just a very warm, um, luxurious smelling candle, but I have never burned any of these and I have heard some mixed reviews on um, how these burn. So I am going to save my opinions until I actually burn them myself. But a friend purchased this for me because she knows that I love candles and I really like this scent. 
I'm actually kind of glad that I have this one and this white maple bourbon one to kind of offset all of the fall and tree scents that I'm going to be getting into because to be honest with you, I love all of those scents, but sometimes I'm craving something a little bit different. So these will be nice to bust out on the days when I'm like, I am over the tree scents, I am over the pumpkin scents, let's do something different. I'm really excited to try those out. I was able to participate in the Sephora Friends and Family 20% off sale earlier this month. It also happened to be my birthday, so I had some gift cards and um, just a little bit of extra spending money that was gifted to me to make a purchase with them. So Christmas time is coming, winter is coming. That's a nice thing for me in Arizona. But um, you guys, what candle did I purchase from Sephora? that is a staple in almost every candle lover's collection come the holidays. Drum roll please, I just said the name. I picked up Nest Holiday. Now, this scent, you guys, this is one of the most beautiful Christmas scents, holiday scents, just, oh, I love this scent. There's. There's some spice in there. There's a little bit of citrus. I believe there's a little bit of pomegranate in here. This is like the epitome of like classy Christmas. And I'm laughing thinking of that because if you are a fan of The Office, do you guys remember classy Christmas when Holly's coming back and um, Michael wants everything to be like that? That's what I think of every time I say classy Christmas. But if, if they were burning a candle in the office during that episode, they would be burning this one because it just says classy Christmas. It's, um, to use the new modern term, it's Christmas elevated. It just, it brings, it brings a level of warmth to your home, but also the fruitiness of a little bit of the citrus, their spice. Oh, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I absolutely love it. It is a must, yes, nest candles are expensive now this is the standard what what size jar is this 8.1 ounce jar now this is the size that i have found the most success with um i have heard from others that the three wicks kind of drive them a little bit crazy and believe it or not even though this jar is very small in appearance it actually fills my living room area very very well i have found that this candle throws quite well for me. So if that is something that you're concerned about, you're concerned about the size of the jar, don't let it be because these candles burn very well. I believe it's a coconut wax and they also throw very well for me. Um, the Sephora sale is coming up pretty soon. I have an entirely separate like beauty video on that that I will be doing. Um, but this is one of the products that I would recommend you picking up, especially if you are Rouge and you get that 20% off. I also know that Nest frequently, or not frequently, but like a few times a year will run 25% off on their website. So if you want to hold out and wait for that, I'm sure that that Kind of sale will be coming up in november um, and maybe you can pick up a couple of these this is also the type of candle that i think would be a great gift to give somebody if you know somebody who loves candles but maybe um, doesn't know exactly what that what they would like this would be a good one to start with because it's not it's not an overly dominating scent it's one of those just makes your house smell good lingering in the background type of scents Moving on to some Homeworks candles. Now, I have been seeing in the Homeworks group so many people talking about and posting their finds at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. And to be honest with you, the fall selection for me was pretty abysmal. I mean, there were a few candles that I was able to find, but none that I was really like on the hunt for. So a few weeks ago, I went down to the Phoenix area. I, I have a cousin that is getting married quite soon and she asked me to come down and do her hair. And on the way back, I noticed that there was a Home Goods and TJ Maxx. And so uh, my daughter was with me and I said, let's run in there and just see what they have. Let's just see what they have. All right, well, boy, did they have some candles. They had quite a few holiday Christmas candles out on display. Now, one of the things I do want to tell you is that I did find these candles in their like Christmas decor section. This was not in their typical uh, candle area. This was primarily in with all of their Christmas decor. So if you are going into your local stores looking for them, check out those areas because that is where I found these. 
These were all $16.99 and you know that I had to stock up. So the first candle that I picked up is one that I will always have in my collection for the winter because I call it my gateway homeworks candle, you know, like the one that got me hooked. And that would be Winter Fireside. Now I know that this candle is kind of, I don't wanna say controversial, but it is polarizing. Some people find it to be too smoky for them. I personally don't, I, I love the scent of it, but I do understand why some people would say, nope, it's just too smoky for me. Mm, I smell this one though, and I love it so much. So all of these candles that I picked up from Home Goods are the standard four wick, 18 ounce jars. The scent notes on Winter Fireside are sultry incense, smoked firewood, rich clove buds, and mold spices. This candle was burned, or not burned, poured in July of 2021. Wow. So this one's been sitting for a while. I wonder if this one will have a good throw. I hope this one doesn't have wick issues now that I think about it. Hmm? Oh, well, at least I got it at a decent price. Oh, this one smells so good. There's definitely the smokiness in here and the um, the the incense, but I don't, I don't, incense is like a funny thing where people think it's like, you know, I grew up in California, people burn incense to cover the smell of weed. Um, <laughs> but that I, I, that's not the type of incense I get from this. Oh, it just smells really good. The mold spices, there's definitely a note of clove in there. I actually love burning this one with a scent like um, like white birch, like one of the, the pine type of scents because it gives you the warmth of like a fireplace at Christmas time, but then also if you have a tree note going, it just like embodies Christmas to me. I really, really love this scent. Now, Harry Slatkin has also released um, a couple of other fire scents that I have tried. I've gotten a, a quick whiff of Autumn Bonfire, but I've never burned that one. Um, the other like fire scents that I love by Harry Slatkin or by Homeworks are Crackling Fireside, which I'm not sure if he'll bring that back this year. That was released on QVC last year, and I picked up another set earlier this year that is in my collection. That one has more of like a cinnamon note to it. And then, um, spoiler alert, I will have a full haul on the homework sale that recently went on, but one of the candles that he brought back, it was in a QVC TSB a few years ago, was By the Fireside. That scent, I believe, is probably his best fire scent because it's not as smoky as Winter Fireside. It's not as cinnamony as the Crackling Fireside. It's just a beautiful, beautiful blend. So spoiler alert, I did pick up um, two of those because they were in the 14 ounce two for 20 sale. So I was really excited to see that come back. All right, another candle that I picked up from my home goods was Snow Tipped Pine. Now this one I remember purchasing, I believe it was in 2020. The scent notes on this one are pine needles, alpine juniper, white birch, and cypress woods. Ooh, this one is so good. I love it. And they all come with like, you know, the little covering on it. Now this is a candle that I typically like to burn after Christmas. Um, this is, this is a post Christmas tree scent to me. And why do I say that? I don't know what it is. It's like a, that there's a coolness and crispness without this being minty. It's not minty at all, but you definitely get the vibes of cool forest. Um, you know, that's about two hours North of me, but I really, really like this scent. You have the pine needles, but it's not an overly astringent scent. It's not like pine sol or anything like that. This is a beautiful scent and I remembered liking it. I had purchased it two years ago when it came out. And so I definitely jumped on it when I saw this. In fact, my daughter was laughing so hard at me when we were at Home Goods and I saw these candles, particularly when I saw Winter Fireside. There was a woman in front of me and I was, I thought I was being very nice, like trying to get to my candles. And my daughter was like, mom, you almost knocked over that woman. And I was like, well, if she wasn't going to get the candle. I was because I didn't want anybody else to get it. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, here I am. That's my life right now. Um, just embarrassing my teenage daughter. Any chance I can get. All right. The next candle that I picked up at Home Goods was 
Balsam White Birch. Now I've also burned this one before. Again, this is another candle that I like after the holidays. Ooh, this one's really good though. So there's more balsam note in this. If you are familiar with white birch, um, white birch is more of a straight up Christmas tree scent to me. It, it, it screams Christmas to me. It's not really a scent that I would burn after Christmas. It's one that I would burn probably leading up to it. Now you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying that for me personally, I'm very seasonal and um, certain scents like <laughs> kind of categorize into my mind at being certain times. This one is also another, like, I like to burn this one maybe like the week after Christmas where I'm still, I still have my decorations up and everything, but we're kind of like coming off of the high of Christmas. This one's beautiful. There's more of a woodiness to this. Uh, like snow tip pine gives off more of like the winter air, uh, clean, crisp pine needles. That's not what this is. There is a woodiness to this, kind of an earthiness. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely scent. If you are able to get your hands on this one, pick it up, sniff it, it will probably come home with you. It's really good. I picked up two candles that I have never burned before, but I have heard about them and heard that they were great scents and I picked them up on cold sniff and I loved them. This is Cranberry Wreath. Now the scent notes on this one are iced cranberries, fir needle, fresh balsam, and musk. I always hate when they say like musk, like what is that supposed to mean? But this one's really good. You definitely smell the cranberry in there, but not an overly tart cranberry. When I smell the lid, I smell more of that fur in there. I'm really curious to see what this one smells like um, while burning because I have a feeling that it's really going to transform once the wax pool gets going on it. Fresh balsam. Yeah, a little bit of that, like the fur and balsam. It's funny, when I smell the wax, I smell the cranberry right away, but sometimes you can, you can get a little bit more of the scent story by sniffing the lid. And the lid, I pick up more of those tree notes in there. Either way, it's a delicious combination and I'm really excited to try it out. This is something where I have been expanding kind of my typical um, scent preferences, I guess I would say, you know, we will read scent notes sometimes and say, oh, I'm not gonna like that because we'll see one note in there that we think, nope, I'm not going to like that. But I have actually been surprised recently that I have kind of gone outside of my comfort zone and discovered some really great home fragrances just by going outside of what I typically think that I would like. So I would challenge you, maybe if you're in store, it's a little bit easier because you can pick it up and smell it. But even if you see a really good sale on something and you're a little bit curious and you've heard other people talk about a candle, I would encourage you, maybe if it's a good enough price, try it, just try it. Try, just try it once and see, see how it works out. I guess the worst thing that could happen is that we're at a time of year, you can always gift it to somebody if you don't love it, right? All right, the last candle that I picked up at Home Goods is probably the one I am the most excited about because this screams Christmas to me. Like this, this is Christmas in a candle for me. This is Season's Greetings. The scent notes on this one are Juniper Sprig, Winter Mint, Red Currant, and Balsam. So I would read that and be like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Like if I were to read this online, read that scent description, I'm not sure I could really quite like smell in my nose, no, how do I put this? Like, I'm not sure I could conceptualize what that scent would be if I just read that. But sticking my nose in it, oh my goodness, this, this is like, you just brought the Christmas tree into your house. Like when you, um, this reminds me a lot of like a Christmas tree lot. You know, now I have a fake tree because to be honest with you, I'm cheap, I bought one like, for 40 bucks 10 years ago, the day after Christmas at Walmart. I just, I, I don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on um, a new fake tree, or to be honest with you, the real ones are really expensive and they get messy. And anyways, that's a whole other um, side note here. But when I was a kid, we would always go out and get a fresh cut tree. And this reminds me of coming home and setting that up. My mom would have, you know, burl ives and, um, 
Bing Crosby and, you know, Nat King Cole on in the background. That's what this reminds me of. Not classy Christmas. That's, that's Nest Holiday. But this is traditional, my childhood Christmas scent. Oh, I love this one. Mmm. So good, so good. So if you happen to see this one, I'm not sure if this one is offered on QVC. I believe that I had seen the Cranberry Wreath offered there. Um, Snowtip Pine and Winter Fireside, I believe are now on the Hallmarks.shop website. Um, so I'm not sure where all of these are. If I can link some of them in the description box down below, I will do that for you. I know this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to like plow through a couple of more that I have in my collection. I actually purchased these maybe two months ago from QVC, but because they were holiday releases, I just wasn't quite yet ready to talk about them here on my channel. But since we are approaching that time of year, I thought it would be beneficial for me to show them to you now. I have White Birch in my collection. This, I believe, is also available on the Hallmarks.shop website. The scent notes are White Birch, Fur Balsam, Crisp Winter Air. This is the quintessential Christmas tree scent right here. This, this is definitely more astringent. Um, it's not as um, laid back, I would say, as Season's Greetings. Season's Greetings, I feel like, is a little bit tamer. This is definitely a solid tree note for you but I really, really love this one. Like I said earlier, I like to pair this one with Winter Fireside, or maybe I'll do it with the By the Fireside scent. I feel like those two pairings together blend absolutely beautifully. I picked this candle up in a set from QVC. Now this is, I will typically get one peppermint scented candle every year because I do like the smell of peppermint in the winter. It's not always one that I'm generally like, oh, I have to have it at Christmas time, but I do like it. And this scent is Peppermint Snowdrop. Look at that candle. I think the, the label is really cute on this one. Also the lid on mine, now this came from QVC, is a different color. It's like a golden colored lid. It's also the standard four wick, 18 ounce candle. The scent notes on this are frosty peppermint, candied mint, sugar crystals, and vanilla bean. This one smells very similar. If you love Twisted Peppermint at Bath and Body Works, then you will like this one because that's kind of what it reminds me of. It, it's not as um, sweet, I feel like, as Twisted Peppermint. Bath and Body Works also had a peppermint scent that I liked even more that was called, I wanna say it's called Crushed Candy Cane. It reminds me of like those little dinner mints that my grandmother used to have at her house. That one smells really good as well. I feel like this is kind of a mix of those two BBW scents. So if you're familiar with either one of those and you like them, then you would definitely like this peppermint snowdrop. There's kind of a sugariness to it, um, not overly like, chewing gum, peppermint type of thing. That's not it at all. Just a very pleasant scent. I am actually excited to burn this one as we approach the holiday season. I'm not sure if this one is available anymore. I purchased it on the Hallmarks.shop website um, quite some time ago and I haven't seen it back on there, but who knows, it might come back up. So this is Tree Farm Lane. And again, this also kind of has a, a lid that looks resembles wood a little bit. This is also the four wick. It's got some green, green wax on it. The scent notes on this are blue spruce, balsam fir, white pine, and fresh juniper. This one's very clean. It's not as astringent as um, most like pine scents would be. I would say that of all of the like tree scents that I have right here in front of me, this one is probably the most tame, I would say. This is a nice scent. It's not one that I'm like, oh, I love it. Um, I'm going to see how it burns for me, but uh, on cold sniff, it might be one that might be like a one and done for me just because I tend to like tree scents that are a little more like pow in your face. But who knows? I might get to burning this one and discover that I really, really love it and I may want to repurchase it but I like it. This, this label is really pretty too. I think, you know, like with the snow coming down around it, I think it's really pretty. It's a little bit different take. Um, so yeah, excited to try this one out. 
I also picked this candle up, I believe during the Christmas in July special because I had heard a lot of people talk about how this was one of their favorite Christmas scents that Homeworks has ever done, especially some people that I follow on here that we have very similar taste in what we like. And the candle that I'm talking about is Mistletoe Magic. Now this is another beautiful label that I like on it. The lid is golden, so it's very pretty if you want to gift it to anybody. The scent notes on this are black currant, pine needles, fir balsam, and pomelo. Pomelo. Let's use some English here, Katie. And it's funny, I, this is a different Christmas scent to me. I, I don't know, I don't not like it. It's like one of those ones that I suspect that I feel just kind of meh about on cold sniff, but I'm curious to see once I light it because I have a feeling, I don't know why, I just have this feeling that I'm really going to like it once I start burning it. There is some of that current note in here and the pomelo, but there's a little bit of that woodsiness from the tree notes in here too. It, it's a very beautiful scent. I like it. I'm curious to see if I'll like it even more. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a love on cold sniff, but I do like it. And I know that it's a favorite to so many people, which is why I am going to go ahead and give it a chance because I'm asking you to do the same. So I've got to hold myself accountable and follow my own advice. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these candles in your collection. And if you have burned any of these, are any of these like recurrent, you have to have these in your collection every Christmas holiday season. Let me know because I know that for me, some of these have been staples in the past and they will be staples going forward. Don't forget that if you enjoyed this video to hit that thumbs up button, it really helps me out. And if you would like to watch any more of my content, YouTube should be making some suggestions for you at the end of this video. I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.